All right, during February, we're proud to share stories for Black History Month, but one woman was unaware her own family played such an important role in local black history. News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders shares a story of uncovering history and the pride that comes from what is found. It's only right Dorothy Orr would end up the family historian. Family couldn't be more important to her, as you can see from the beautifully framed pictures of her children in her Murfreesboro home. High school pictures, and this is my youngest daughter's picture. Dorothy says, you never know what's in your family history. So who's that woman on the left? Her name was Jane Ball Hoover. That's Dorothy's great grandmother who ran a boarding house across Murfreesboro on State Street. She bought the home a balance of $150 that she paid for it and she was debt free. But Dorothy's just found out there's something truly special about Jane's house. In the Jim Crow era, black travelers on the road would have to be wary of sundown towns, places where the laws enforced racial segregation. In the midst of this time, those black travelers knew they had arrived at refuge when they saw this house, the home of Jane Hoover. They had no other place to stay, and that was a perfect place for them to find shelter and comfort. In the years after Jane's death in 1928, Dorothy's grandparents, Garfield and Fanny Hoover, took over the house, which eventually became known as a listed site in the Green Book a guide of safe places for black travelers from the 1930s through the 60s. Dorothy had no idea about the house's Green Book history. Not until she got a call from the African American Heritage Society of Rutherford County. I said this was a strong woman of courage. She stepped outside the box and she was trying to help other people at that time. It's a still standing Green Book site in Middle Tennessee just like this Natchez Street house in Franklin and the R&R &R liquor store on Jefferson Street. But many of the Green Book sites have been lost over time. But I know it's there. Let's see. We brought Dorothy a Green Book to see the listing herself. Jane passed away several years before Dorothy was born. I wish I could have known her. Jane's mother was a slave, and for Jane to start something here to help black travelers, well, that's something Dorothy is so grateful to know. After all, you never know what's in your family history. Oh my goodness. Well, that is such a good feeling. It makes me very proud, very proud of my family. I'm Forrest Sanders, News Channel 5.